how's it going? I'm Pinely, but before we start, you should follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Pinely. Anyways, Butch Hartman, who even is that guy, am I right? Well, if you don't know him, you probably know the cartoons this man has made. Uh, it's everything you've ever liked as a kid, like, uh, Fairly Odd Parents, uh, Danny Phantom, or even Tough Puppy, which I have never seen. <laughs> in recent years, Mr. Hartman has become quite a bit of an internet celebrity. Yeah, he's not in the TV business anymore, he's not in Nickelodeon, he's just out in the wild, like an internet cowboy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hartman is now a YouTuber. And he's been doing that for some time now, to be honest. I remember when I started seeing him online a few years ago, at first, it was quite exciting. Uh, seeing someone that created a show I liked so much as a kid give all these behind-the-scenes details about it and whatnot seemed pretty cool. I felt like Butch and I might just get along, but boy, I think I might have been mistaken. In the past few years, this man has been getting a bit of heat for a bunch of things that he's been up to. Uh, talking about how autism can be cured by the power of prey, doing $200 commissions for art that looks like this, and also having a pretty bad Kickstarter for an awful Christian cartoon streaming service that, according to Butch himself, is supposed to be sort of a Trojan horse that'll put the Christ right back in your kid's brain. He advertised it as a streaming service that would prevent your kids from seeing stuff that they really shouldn't, which definitely sounds like something viable, but you know, you could just use Netflix Kids. But the thing is, this was not Butch Hartman's first rodeo in the streaming service network business. Haha, <laughs> uh, no siree. Today we're gonna talk about something that Butch started five years ago uh, when he released New. Yeah, new baby. It's everything you've ever wished for. It's a multimedia app platform. It's whatever you want it to be. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Exclusive cartoons by the man who single-handedly created your childhood. Uh, incredible. Triple A games. Ghost of Tsushima. Forget about that, mom. I want to play some advanced whack-a-mole. So what is Noog? It's an app that came out five years ago. The goal of it is uh, fairly similar to the goal of the new streaming service. It's to have a cute little world for kids to be in, play in, watch cartoons made by Butch Hartman himself, and just be safe. In Noog, you won't need to worry that your kids will accidentally watch an episode of The Boys have all that uh, horrible, horrible gore ingrained into their poor little kid brain. Now let's have a little peek into the Noog world, shall we, folks? My... Oh my, look at that. I feel like um, I'm walking around Butch Hartman's brain. All these uh, shiny colors. Man, while I do definitely appreciate the cool character designs made by the one and only, walking around here, things do feel a bit cheap. The characters are just kind of standing there. It's just a still picture of them just looking at you. I don't know, it's just a bit weird. Oh, and, and check this video out. Hey, Noob Nation, welcome to the new network a channel with tunes shows and other awesome fun stuff hey speaking of other awesome fun stuff i thought this was meant for kids this is goddamn terrifying everything from this dude's voice to the unsettling movements imagine if, if this thing just shows up in my dreams afterwards jesus christ you can really see as well the exact moment where the animation went from decent to kind of Shit. They gave up the second this little guy touched the floor. I should point out now that I, I have nothing against the, the good people working on anything related to the Noog network. I'm fully aware there are a lot of resources needed to make good animation. You know, time, money, manpower, all of that. I just find this whole thing to be a bit funny. That's all. Well, we're just goofing around. So the app is in fact free, uh, which is pretty nice of Butch, giving us this little present like that. Uh, the way it works is that you can play the games on the app and get coins. Or, you know, pay money and get coins. The games are sort of similar to the type of web games that you'd find on maybe Club Penguin or something, but not as good, obviously. And then with the coins you get, the Noog Nickels, as the experts call them, you can unlock the great cartoons. Oh yes, the cartoons. You've slaved away, played hours upon hours of new games, and now it's time to treat yourself with a little Butch Hartman cartoon. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the great Bug Girl. Hey, here comes that weird Bug Girl. Let's totally make fun of her stupid costume. Hey guys, where's the library? I don't know. Why don't you buzz off? Yeah, you're really bugging us. 
<laughs> Guess it's time for me to shed now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it myself. La, la, la. Oh, that was that, that was a bit short. I wonder if there are any more episodes of of Bug Girl. Oh, I guess not. It's like that with all of these shows. You just get one episode that's like less than a minute long uh, that shows a very specific concept, like a girl who's a bug. But usually, just don't really get any follow up on that. There's this guy who's a space avenger or something. Oh, and he's a bit wacky. He's shooting toasters and toilets. This guy is an absolute menace to society. Oh, episode's over. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll, uh, guess I'll leave now. Luckily enough, in the past year, the good people at Noob Network have decided to upload everything onto YouTube. So, I don't actually have to play any games to show you this. If you want to see me play games, uh, you already heard it, you can follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Pinely. Another exciting cartoon is Dino High. I've made sure to watch all of the episode of the show to give you my truly unbiased opinion. I mean, how can you even not watch this show with a title this enticing? I stepped in, in dinosaur poop? Question mark? Ooh. I wonder what's the answer to that question. Now, just looking around at the Dino High scenery, you know you're in for a bit of a treat. I mean, just take a look at these lovely, lovely trees. I feel like I'm on vacation. So it seems like the show follows around these two vegetarian dinos, and they have a friend named Amber, who's encased in Amber. Then this group of heroes find themselves in a bit of a pickle. They start drowning or something, what what are they gonna do? Never mind, because that's the end of the fucking episode. That's all that's all for today, folks. All these cartoons are like this. It's just 30 seconds and then poof! It's out of your life. Sorry, buddy, nothing you can do about it. To think that in the past I, I would have had to play a billion games of goddamn whack-a-mole, or better yet, pay real money for this 30-second PowerPoint animation clip is just a bit insane. In the video, we get a behind-the-scenes look of this show, or whatever you want to call it. And from that, you can sort of get what's going on here. Why these are just one-off 30-second episodes that have nothing to do with each other. Butch talks about how exciting it would be if maybe there was a Dino High TV series and oh, all these exciting future paths that the characters on the show could take. You know, we could have this kind of episode and uh, that kind of episode. Oh, it would be so exciting. And then my little brain finally realized that this whole app is just one big ad. It's essentially just a platform for Butch to showcase all these different pilots and concepts that he has in mind for potential series. The end goal is not for me or you to use it. He doesn't really gain that much off of it. The end goal is to get the important people to see it. The TV execs. Which is not like an awful or a sinister thing to do. Not at all. Not really. But the end result is just that this app is quite bad. There is one show uh, on the new catalog that is not one singular 30 second clip. But I don't, I don't know if you're ready for it. It is a bit intense. Um, the show's name is... Zack 2.0 is a live-action Noog series created by, you guessed it, Butch Hartman. So far on the Noog YouTube channel, there are three episodes, but my gut tells me that there are more to come. Now, since Butch decided to do this show in live-action, I've brought in my very own live-action friend, Mr. YouTuber. Uh, the man best known for not being me. What are you- what are you thinking, mister? It is bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Anything more you'd like to elaborate on? Okay, I- I guess. Uh, uh, let's- let's start talking about this great show, uh, shall we? It starts off, uh, you got all these girls sitting around in the- in the cafe. Ooh, they're talking. These two girls are talking to that girl, telling her, Hey, listen, there's- there's a new kid in town. There's a new guy in town, his name is Zack 2.0. And oh my god, he, he is the most attractive man in the world. He has nice hair, and he's attractive. And then, all of a sudden, Zack 2.0 walks in. And yeah, uh, that's essentially episode one. The end. <laughs> the next episode starts off at the exact same spot, so, you know, if, if you're a bit tense from the ending of that last episode, 
You're gonna get your uh, resolution pretty soon. Don't worry about it. So Zack apparently has some sort of powers. I don't know, he, he plays with something on the table. And the two girls are coming up to him to, to flirt with him a bit. Oh, Zack, how are you doing? Is, is your day going well? But Zack has too good of a hair for that. He doesn't really give a shit. So he leaves the area. He follows around the other, the, the, the girl that wasn't into him. Uh, cause, I don't know, something must be going on, something's up, the game is afoot. Looking for me? You're gonna have to speak to my people first. Looking for me? You're gonna have to speak to my people first. And then a bunch of 40 year old dudes pull up. Oh, uh, sorry, can't waste any time. Cause apparently, this episode is over as well. Episode 3 starts off with the best action scene in, in TV history. <laughs> yeah. Show them who's the Zack. Show them, show them what's up. I don't really, I, I don't really have much to say about this show. I, I can't really call it a show. It's, I think, six minutes maybe in total. Um, uh, even less if you don't count all the intros and outros of the show. It's just a bunch of nothing. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to my original statement and say that it, it is bad. It's it's pretty bad. Thank you, Mr. YouTuber. All in all, this was quite fun, if you ask me. Now, sadly enough, this video isn't really sponsored. Aww. Yeah, I know. It sucks. But I got some inspiration from Butch. I've actually decided to use this video as a platform to promote my very own potential animated series. So, hey, uh, please do give it a watch. Feel free to send this to every single TV executive out there. I can tell you for a fact, uh, you wouldn't be wasting their time. Anyways guys, buckle your seat belts and get ready because this is going to be a wild ride. Hello, I'm Brick Boy. What does that even mean? What what can he do? Huh? Uh check this out. Oh, oh my Gosh, what the heck? How did he do that? Man, if I was the CEO of Cartoon Network, I'd definitely be interested in this. The end. <laughs>